This video shows why the mono soupape needs such long duration on the camshaft to make the engine work correctly. This engine was originally designed to replace the piston valve because if one of the valves in the piston uh, went, you could blow the whole rotary engine up. So anyways, the way this works, it's shown starting the cycle at uh, top on compression and uh, so that it would fire right now. So then the piston goes down on power stroke. Then uh, about halfway down or so it's already starting to open the two exhaust valves. Although the real engine only used one. Then you can see pistons at the bottom now. Zoom in. There's the intake ports. They go around the cylinder. So what took place here, the engine opens the valve very early, the exhaust valves very early, so that by the time the piston uncovers the intake ports, the pressure is already down to atmospheric, so there's no transfer of gas into the crankcase uh, due to exhaust pressure. And then the piston comes up on the exhaust stroke, covers up the intake ports. Both valves are still wide open remain that way. Pistons at the top. Exhaust valves are still wide open. Piston starts coming down on what would normally be the intake stroke. So since the pistons moving down and the valves are open and there's no mufflers on this engine so you have a short pathway to the exhaust valve. Air starts getting sucked back in to the cylinder through the exhaust valves that continues. The valves are almost closed now but there they're both both exhaust valves are closed but the pistons halfway down the cylinder so fresh air has been sucked in through the exhaust into the cylinder piston continues down no valves are open so it's developing a high vacuum then it uncovers the intake ports at which time a very rich mixture in the crankcase is sucked into the cylinder which dilutes to form a burnable charge with the gas with the with the air that it was pulled in through the exhaust <clears throat> so between the two you achieve a normal mixture that comes up on compression and fires again so <clears throat> power stroke and the exhaust valve start to open very early uncovers the intake ports with no transfer of gas comes up on exhaust. Piston starts going down on intake, sucking air through the exhaust. No valves open, develops high vacuum and then sucks it in the intake ports. Very rich mixture. So in this engine, the mixture in the crankcase was so rich that it can't burn. It was a very fuel rich mixture so there was little danger of explosion so they solved the uh, problems that they had with the piston valve unfortunately exhaust valve life was fairly short on this engine due to the fact that it sucked fresh air in past the hot exhaust valves <coughs>